a prison guard has been caught in Florida ordering a hit on another person. Let me give you the background, put up his picture. That prison guard was caught ordering a hit. Prison guard in Florida is accused of trying to arrange a murder. Authorities in Miami-Dade County, Florida said that guy, Jose Alcazar, 49 years of age, a corrupt officer at the privately run South Bay Correctional Institution in nearby Palm Beach County did in fact try to get somebody murdered. He tried to set up a killing through an inmate's nephew who was actually an undercover cop according to the arrest report obtained by the Miami Herald. Uh, Alcazar allegedly brought up the plot during a meeting outside of Denny's, okay? In the version of events from authorities, the undercover officer agreed, saying he and his, and his people would do their homework and let Alcazar know when they were ready. Now, keep in mind, he was not under investigation for attempting to put out a hit on somebody. He was under investigation for something else corrupt. And while he's under investigation for something else corrupt, he then says something that trumps that investigation. Because putting a hit out on somebody is more corrupt than what he was being investigated for. I got the background. Alcazar allegedly wound up on law enforcement radar after inmates, incarcerated people, told a Miami Dade State Attorney's Office investigator that the officer picked up drugs and contraband every week. Authorities said they set it up. So that the undercover officer posed as a nephew of one of the inmates. In the March 12th meeting, the undercover officer allegedly gave Alcazar three SIM cards to deliver. The price, $1,200 amid three weeks of communication. The corrections officer also allegedly asked the undercover officer for a 380 revolver to take into the facility. A 380 revolver inside of a prison, okay, there's more. During the April 11th meeting, he allegedly gave the undercover officer cocaine in an icebreaker's gum container. In return, the officer gave him 1,900 in cash, 400 for the drugs, and the remainder went as a down payment for Alcazar's $10,000 price to transfer the uncle out of South Bay, official said. He's trying to make big money, okay, being corrupt. That's how he got on their radar. Uh, The defendant remains locked up at the Turner Gulford Knight Correctional Center on charges, including first degree solicitation of murder, introduction of firearm or explosive device into prison, introduction of communications device into prison, cocaine possession with a firearm, armed possession of marijuana with intent to sell, compensation for unlawful acts and criminal solicitation. Put up his picture again, okay? There's a reason why these types of people are attracted to law enforcement. How many stories like this do we have? How many stories have we told similar to this one, okay? How long has he been getting away with it? Well, case is pending. Maybe we'll find out. Um, Adrian, in all of your years being a being an officer of the court, have you seen something like this inside of a jail, inside of a prison? This guy was literally smuggling guns mm-hmm. inside of the jail. What are you going to do with a gun inside of the jail that you're gonna that you think you can get away with? I don't understand. It's such a controlled environment. What is I mean, is he really going to kill somebody inside of the jail? Uh, I'm sure he's going to do all sorts of things or find ways. Um, you know, it's it's really indicative of our culture. The fact that, like you said, people are so attracted to going into law enforcement or into being in this carceral state in some ways, so that they can engage in criminality. And it makes you realize too that the system supports this because you can't tell me that others around him had no idea whatsoever, or that others around him are not engaging in similar behavior, even if it's not to the uh, to the extent that this individual was. Uh, the fact is that our system is set up this way to allow this behavior. And so hopefully this man actually faces consequences and doesn't get a slap on the wrist because it seems that he is committing every potential crime he could in the book. Uh, and hey, 
But we've got to see if the rules are going to apply the same to everyone. Because as we know, law enforcement often gets a pass when it comes to being held accountable for criming. Listen, and I think he's already kind of getting a pass or at least the 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 group of corrupt actors are. <laughs> uh, you know this, prisons have control systems so that one person cannot manipulate all of those systems. Mm-hmm. Which means he's been working with somebody. He's working with somebody. Somebody has to say, okay, we'll bypass that protocol. We won't check you on this. We, I mean, employees have to go through screening at all prisons. So he's in a culture that has not only protected him, but probably works with him. Yeah. I don't think he's getting all of the money to himself. Yeah. I think there are other people involved. What are your thoughts on that? No, I absolutely agree with you. You can't get away. You can't get away from this. You know, it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes a village to commit all of these offenses and to can keep continue to continue to involve these things, especially when, like you said, you're in a controlled environment to a certain extent. There are other people involved, and even if he's not giving up names, the people know. But the system yeah. will continue to operate just like it does in the LA County Sheriff's Department. Once again, like you said, Adrian, he's a branch. Yes. Right, he's a branch. He is proof that the tree is corrupt. That's what he's proof of. So instead of uprooting the tree, we're just going to take the branch off, and another branch will grow in its place. 